Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in my video today I want to show you how to remove carpet tack strips. So carpet tack strips are this little porcupine nail filled piece of wood that uh, goes around the perimeter of your rooms and it helps hold the carpet tight once it's all stretched. And they're simply on a wood floor like we have here today, they're just held down by a few ring nails, uh, I don't know how, they're about every six inches or so. So they're not held down by much, but they're still annoying to, to lift up. But I'm going to show you a few different ways in, in order to remove these. So the more, most traditional method would be with some type of a bar. And you're just going to go along and uh, get the bar underneath the tack strip and pry it off. So you just go along the perimeter of your room. You just pull up your piece like that. They're, they're usually, I think they're four foot pieces normally, uh, but it could be whatever, right? Uh, they're, they're deadly sharp. So what I like to do is just kind of once I pulled it up, sort of create a bit of a pile so they're out of the way and uh, you're not going to step on them or get your hand poked with them or whatever like that. Uh, something else that would be helpful is actually wearing some gloves because like I said, they are they are a little hard on the hands, so I should throw my gloves on. Uh, so that's that's kind of the traditional way. You're using a bar, you're down on your hands and knees, uh, you know, prying along. They aren't difficult to get up, but if you can make it easier on your body, I always like those sorts of methods. So let's get out the secret weapon. So here's, here's an easier way to do it, to prevent uh, having to be on your hands and knees crawling around. It's using, using a spade nose shovel. So we can uh, just simply use this just like we did the bar, but we're not having to crawl around on our hands and knees. So we just get it under the edge there. I'm still kind of stooped over a little, but I'm not crawling on my knees. Well, that was a lot easier. Uh, so one thing with the shovel is you don't need to get carried away, you know, ramming it towards the wall and you end up slipping and hitting the drywall. It just needs to get under the edge a little bit. And it's as easy as that. So, uh, like I said, showed you a few different ways to do it. You can choose to do it the hard way or you can do it the easy way. Hopefully you found this video helpful and uh, you'll try out the easy way to do this and save your knees a little bit. Every time I can find something that saves me having to be crawling around on my knees, I like to at least give it a shot. So this one works. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, you can check us out on Facebook or Patreon as well.